that uh, you had talked to Hamlin and Elliot. Uh, how did those conversations go? They were they were conversations. Um, yeah. We all said our side, and I did a lot of listening. And that. Uh, Hamlin said that you, you you know where he stands. Yeah. Is that accurate? I know where both of us stand. Yeah. yeah. Are you comfortable with that, or do you just have yeah. to live with it? Yeah, I I am. I mean, uh, we're big boys, and as they see fit and I'll try to be better. What do you expect to get put into the wall? You know it's probably coming. <laughs> <laughs> Your silence is telling. Your silence, yeah, exactly. How do you how do you how do you race knowing that that's eventually gonna happen? racing we were wrecking and, and uh, racing for wins and or racing for 10th was the best thing we could do the next week and just go, just go beat it. You know I was uh, I had Chris Gapehart on this week on my show and he had a really I thought great comment he had a lot of respect for you he said he really liked Ross Chastain he said he has made it to the pros now so he can race without worrying about his job and maybe is with the pros so he should race like they race but it's just an adjustment because you don't have to fight for your job every week, uh, but he has a lot of respect for you. I thought it was interesting. You kind of made it to that level. Does that make sense to you, what he said? Yeah, I, I thought about that. I don't have Chris's number. I need to, to give him a call. I know he's not here right now, but yeah. um, he's one of the few other crew guys and crew chiefs, especially that I like have normal, regular conversations with throughout uh, yeah. the season. And uh, each other at breakfast and lunch or the week or next week. One of the few guys I can have an honest conversation with, and obviously now it's probably going to be tested. But I mean, I definitely get Denny too far, but it's not act like Denny and Denny the same thing. So I'll just, yeah, it's in the pros, but like, you know, the other cars are people too, and I, I hit him too hard, there's no doubt about it. He, I did not need him to wall, but I mean, if he's a pro, like he's done it, just, like, we've all done it, so I'm. So you don't think you're still trying to race like you're, you know, trying to earn the ride. You feel like you're there. You feel like you're there, and you're racing like they race as well. You know what I mean? I hit it too hard, but I race the 1100. Is this a rite of passage for you, in a sense? Oh, definitely. I've got to, I've got to find some middle ground with all of it. I, I mean, I hit it way too hard. Uh, definitely. Better. So and I just don't even need to do that on lap 55. So he was keeping you from passing him last week. What was going through your mind at that particular time? Just keep my car clean and finish top 10 like I needed to. Have you ever been in a similar situation as your career where you know there's at least one driver that's going to go for you, maybe a second? Yeah, the last guy. Do you worry that you uh, race too tentatively? Like, how do you? How do you kind of straddle that line of not wanting to be over aggressive, but then you have to be aggressive to finish probably in the top 20? It's the hardest series in possibly the world, definitely North America. And if I knew how to do that better, I would not be in this situation. And I would have walked in here today and y'all would have like, oh, hey, Ross, and let me you be watching practice. And yeah, if, when I figure that out, um, Answer. Okay. Well, who did you talk to this week? Like, did, were there people that reached out? You were talking about Chris Gabehart that I said I had a conversation with. But did you hear from other people? Did you talk to other drivers in the garage? You, you told me a couple of weeks ago that you were trying to make sure that your relationship with everybody got even better, right? So the, the garage is pretty interesting. Like you said, I, I didn't realize that you had talked to Gabehart, for example. But there's other people, too, that I know who probably do. How, how has it been this week as far as... You know, talking to people, getting their thoughts, or them just reaching out to you and saying, hey, you didn't do anything anybody else didn't do or something like that. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got an opinion, right? So, I, I unplugged them social media this week, and, and 
that was good. I should probably do that more often. We should all probably do that more often. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of conversations once we got on the track here yesterday. We were about to be left to me. Right down the pit here. I take that you now. But um, this week was about the obvious people involved in my group. Grab me. 